It's an early morning mission to save the red knot. Scientists wanting to study the elusive robin-sized shorebird capture them in flocks. We found a spot where we had seen knots roosting um, in previous days and set to work setting a couple nets and cannons up um, where we thought the knots were going to be. And I'll say three, two, one, fire. A dozen wildlife researchers sprint to transfer their prize catches into holding boxes. Biologists collect feather samples as they measure, tag and weigh them. Yeah, band, it'll get a flag and it'll get a geolocator. The geolocators use ambient light to calculate locations, helping determine the birds' migrations. In some key areas, the red knot population has dropped by up to 75% since the 1980s. The population crisis is partly fueled by a drop in the horseshoe crab population in Delaware Bay, a key refueling stop for emaciated and exhausted red knots. During their 10,000-mile journey from South America to their Arctic breeding grounds, the birds stop to feast on the fatty horseshoe crab eggs, often doubling their weight. I mean, these birds are traveling six days in a row, night and day, flying. And if they, don't, they run out of energy, then they're just going in the ocean and dying. The plight of the red knot highlights a bigger problem. 70% of shorebird species are in decline. And they're all in decline for the same reasons, because of the stopovers. They're so dependent on them. If they don't have them, then they either can't make it down or they can't make it back. Researchers hope by identifying vulnerable stopover locations, they will be able to protect them for all migrating shorebirds. Tracy Brown, Associated Press.